Welcome back to the channel. Glad you made it. Today is another collab from the One Big Happy Family for the 4th of July. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified. Let's get it started. We're making a flag cake today for the collab. I'm just going to go ahead and get my yellow cake mix and I'm going to actually follow it according to the box directions which only called for some eggs some oil and the cake mix so i'm going to go ahead and start mixing my cake together just to go ahead and get that started and like i said i'm just going to follow the directions that were on the back of the cake box which was pretty simple just call for the oil a couple of eggs and the cake mix so i'm going to go ahead and get that all mixed up so we can go ahead and get that ready to go in the oven I am going to do slightly something different with my cake mix. I am going to add some red velvet instant pudding mix. I did have to order this online. I couldn't find it in the grocery store. I never heard of it before, but it is supposed to be like red velvet cake pudding. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix my pudding according to the directions on the box and actually add that into my already established cake mix that I had from the box directions as well and just mix that together until it is pretty much like a red velvet cake batter. Of course, I could have went and bought the red velvet cake cake mix also, but I just decided since I had the pudding mix, I would just add it in here just to see how it turned out. Once my cake batter is mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and just follow the box's directions to bake it and just bake accordingly. Once it has finished, let it cool, and we can go ahead and start decorating the cake. Again, this is an easy version of the flag cake, so I'm gonna go ahead and use store-bought icing, cream cheese icing, and I'm gonna go ahead and spread that out evenly amongst the cake so we can have our nice base of the white background that's going to start off the cake. Once we have our icing all spread out, we can start to decorate the cake. I'm choosing to use for my red stripes raspberries. You could use something like strawberries also. I've did that before. But I'm just going to go ahead and start laying out my lines or stripes for the flags, my red stripes. I did try to make it as close to a replica of a flag as I could, but for decoration purposes, I did have to add a couple of more berries at the end but I did go ahead and start with my red raspberries for the stripes So once I had a couple rows of the red stripes done, I went ahead and started on the blue section of the flag. So I just started with a couple of berries just so I could get the outline going of where they need to be on the flag.
And guys, don't forget to run over to the Queen Sugar Experience. I am sure she is going to have some wonderful ideas for the holiday for you and your family. This has been a pleasure seeing everyone's spirit and patriotism for the holiday. Just seeing things that were a part of tradition for some families and maybe some new traditions that you might be able to pick up here as well. So I was so happy to be a part of this collaboration once again. And this was my contribution. The flag cake, like I said, it's not a complete replica of the flag, but I feel like it's good enough just to show a little bit of 4th of July spirit. Once you do cut it up, you can go ahead and just maybe add some more berries just to decorate it a little bit more. This whole collaboration has been so much fun. I truly enjoyed this 4th of July collaboration by the One Big Happy Family. Again, if there were some videos that you might have missed, go ahead and check them out. It was a three day collaboration, so there's a lot to choose from. You have some good ideas and good family traditions that you can maybe start on your own for the holiday. Just go ahead and check them out. Some really good channels, guys. Again, I want to thank you for coming to my channel, but please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified so that you can know when I do drop a new video. I appreciate all the support, guys. Don't forget, we're going over to Queen Sugar Experience next so we can keep the ball rolling on this 4th of July holiday collaboration. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care and stay blessed.